Hello, I am John Connor. I work for the University of Liverpool and this is just a short video on the very basics of the Creative Commons license. Now in the top left there are four questions. I'm going to go through them in order but if you want to jump ahead at any point you can just click on the question and as long as your YouTube player is functioning properly it should jump you forward to that point. So first of all what is Creative Commons or what is the Creative Commons license? Now to answer this, we're going to go to the Creative Commons website where there's a good explanation. The Creative Commons license is free, it's easy to use, it's a copyright license. It provides a simple, standardized way to give the public permissions to share and use your creative works on conditions of your choice. Well what it actually means is that someone would be able to take a creative work that you've done and use it without seeking your express permission each time. What this does is it makes your creative work far more usable by others. In the past you may get stuck when trying to ask for permission to use something. Often people don't ask for permission to use a creative work such as images taken from Google. They just put it in their PowerPoint presentation. The original author doesn't get any credit for what that creative work is. But what Creative Commons actually allows is it allows the person to use the work without breaking copyright and it also means that the author gets attribution for what the original work is. What is the point of Creative Commons? To answer this we are again looking at the Creative Commons website if you want to give people the right to share, use and even build upon a work you've created you should consider publishing it under Creative Commons. Creative Commons gives you flexibility for example you can choose to allow only non-commercial uses and protects the people who use your work so they don't have to worry about the copyright infringement as long as they abide by the conditions you have specified. Often people are willing to share their creative works they've put it up already on a file share website or their own websites for people to use but they haven't thought about the license and by default works are licensed by copyright so putting a creative commons license on your work means that people can use it and they can use it in their own works maybe in their teachings they then don't have to worry about having to get permission from the original author to do so Many of these creative works are created for people to use. People want them to be used. They just haven't considered the legal implications of it. And often a user doesn't want to recreate something that already exists out there. Maybe it's a diagram that explains something very well or a video. Why create one of their own when there's already a perfectly good one to use out there? And so it allows users to just go out there, take things that are already created, and use them in their own works. So there's a mutual benefit there. The provider of the creative works gets their name out there and they also get their work used in, in useful situations. The user gets to use the work, gets to save themselves time and effort, but will attribute the, the original author. So, what are the sections of the license? Creative Commons has four different parts to it which I'll go through one at a time. First of all, all parts of Creative, Lim Creative Commons license have attribution. So what attribution means from the Creative Commons website is the license that permits others to copy, distribute, display and perform the work. In return the licensee must give the original author credit. So the user can use the creative work but they must give credit to the original author of the work. The second second part of the license we're going to look at is non-derivative. Again from the Creative Commons website the license permits others to copy, distribute, display and perform only unaltered copies of the work not derivative works based on it. So this one's a little bit more complicated. 
what this actually means is the original work can't be changed and has to be distributed or copied in its entirety. Now this may make sense in some circumstances but in most circumstances you won't realize how restrictive this license actually is. I'll give an example, a very simple example is an image. If someone, if a lecturer wants to use an image in their lecture slides and you have non-derivative works on it then they cannot resize the image they can't zoom in to a certain part of the image they can't crop the image if it doesn't fit they have to use the unaltered original version of the work so no derivative works is really quite a restrictive license okay the next part of the license we're going to look at is non-commercial again from the Creative Commons website the licensor permits others to copy, distribute, display and perform the work in return the licensees may not use the work for commercial purposes unless they get the licensor's permission now what this means is your licensed work can't be used in something that's going to be sold for example maybe you've got some images and they're being used in a document that gets sold or a book that gets sold won't be able to happen with the non-commercial license on it unless you give the express permission so that goes back to having to get the author's permission in order to do this you have to remember you'll still get attribution even if the work sold so it might work out best to not have a non-commercial license but if you're worried about it you can put a non-commercial license on it finally share alike so share alike is the license that permits others to distribute derivative works only under a license identical to the one that governs the licenses work so what that means is if someone does make a derivative work for example they use it in a lecture slide maybe they crop your image down a little bit and they put it in this derivative work they then can't change the license so share alike means the license has to be maintained through derivative works okay so the final part of this what type of licenses are there now obviously not all of these are going to work in conjunction with each other and by that I'm talking mainly about the non-derivative and the share alike licenses because share alike explicitly refers to derivative works so once a derivative work is made it has to share the same license so you'll never see a license with both of these and as such these are the licenses that exist quickly run through them first one is attribution only so a user can make derivatives they don't have to share with the same license they can use it for commercial uses next one attribution non-derivative have to on each of these you will have to attribute the original author but on this on this li particular license you have a non-derivative so you can't make derivative works of the work third one attribution share alike so you will be able to make derivatives you can sell it but you can't change the license the license will always have to be attribution share alike attribution non-commercial this means that you can make derivative works you don't need to make your derivative works with the same license but you won't be able to sell the derivative work okay next one is attribution non-commercial non-derivative so you you won't be able to sell it and you won't be able to make changes to it the user has to use the creative works in its entirety only and can distribute it in its entirety only and they cannot sell it and finally attribution non-commercial share alike the end user can't sell it they can change it and make derivative works 
but when they make the derivative works it has to keep the same license so you, it has to be shared with the same license.